up you guys it's your girl Deja D and today I'm here with some tips on how to survive a good first year of college I am a sophomore at Hampton University my major is psychology and my minor is journalism however no matter what school what major boy or girl all of these rules should apply to you and hopefully all of these tips help you out this is a get ready with me I will be doing my makeup featuring this eyeshadow palette from Carmen Renee her link will be in the description box below to her website support like business is although that I am doing my makeup in this video this is not a makeup tutorial so I will just be giving tips but I just wanted to let you all know that so if you're watching the video and you see me doing my makeup and stuff you ain't surprised or anything like that if this is your first time seeing my face across your screen welcome I'm so happy that you clicked on my video um be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more college content coming and already uploaded and I will leave those linked up in the cards as well as at the end of this video so without further ado let's go ahead and hop right into the video I have so many like college videos up on my channel so I'll be leaving like cards of college videos up like going throughout this whole video and in the comment section let me know if you, what school you all go to what school you all are interested in going to um any college related questions and also um if you're watching this in 2020 um let me know if you all school is actually going back on campus or if you all are um online like we are doing this semester online which sucks but i'm just thankful that i'm not a incoming freshman or a senior like the first um tip that i would like to give you all is do not do not do not buy books brand new because nine times out of ten you're probably not going to use it ever again you don't need it brand new um and also wait to buy books sometimes like don't always get your books from it's just so much evolving the purchasing of books like do not buy your book brand new you do not need a brand new book do not always go to the bookstore the campus bookstore for books because they are trying to get your money honey um and also like kind of wait to see if you actually need the book i have bought books that i never even cracked open like i was in a class last last semester and the teacher made us buy this book and when i tell y'all i never even opened the book never even looked at the book other than the day that I purchased it so please 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 look for PDFs do not buy a book brand new and just wait it out like if I would have just waited like another week or so because nine times out of ten teachers aren't pressing you to get the books like they might say get it early early but don't really get it honestly I only recommend getting books if you need an access code if you don't need an access code you probably won't be using the book that much and that's just being honest like and even if the book has the access code, sometimes you could buy the access code separate. Like I know for a math class, if I would have bought the book and the access code, it would have been like 300 or something dollars. Because when you get access codes in books, that means the book is brand new because you can only use the access code once. But I went online and I just looked for the access code by itself. And the access code was like $90 or whatever. And it came, like, once I bought the access code, I was able to access the book. So, it was, like, trying to scam me in a way. So, if you need it, just ask the teacher, like, do you need an access code, whatever, whatever. And then try to go online. Like, try your hardest to search around for books, honestly. Do not always go with, let's just go to the bookstore or whatever. And you don't have to buy every single book for every single classroom. Because some teachers, they either wrote the book or the school is telling them to make you all get that book because that's how the school would generate money from the books and everything and the school generates money from the bookstore it's just so much like try to rent books off amazon do everything just try to get the cheapest price look before you buy i'm telling y'all you're gonna save so much money do not get them books full price or brand new something i wish i would have done um of course if you're not on campus this semester or whatever don't really worry about it one thing that I really really wish that I would have done was not been in my room so much like I literally will do my work in my room I would be in my room so much I was social like I went to parties 
Um, I was in clubs and everything like that. I was very, very social, but I also was in my room a lot. Like, a lot. I was always taking a nap. So I wish I just was a little bit more proactive. Like, instead of sitting in my room, I should have went to go sit in the library, or I should have went and sat in the cab, or should have went and sat in the stew, just so I could be out a little bit more. You don't want to just like confine yourself to your dorm room, and that's what I used to do a lot. I used to just sit in here. It was just so relaxing for me to just sit on my bed. Like if I didn't have no work, I would just go take a nap. And although you may be tired, you know, have your days where you go take your naps and everything, but don't make that an everyday thing. Like try your hardest to get out and sit and do things like. I don't know your girl is just tired it's probably easier said than done but um so is all advice it's easier said than done so i'm gonna just throw that one in there because you might be like oh i need to take my nap i need to take my nap girl sometimes if i was going back like how i am now like now that we stuck in the house girl i would have got out the room i wouldn't know we was gonna be in our bedrooms at our houses for some months i would have been way more social <laughs> So you never want to look back on things and be like, dang, I should have been out more. Like, I should have used that time instead of sitting in my room all that time. Now it's like, oh, when I go back on campus, oh, I ain't sitting up in my room because, shoot, we've been on quarantine for about some months now. I ain't sitting back in that room no more. Um, Another tip that I would say is to get involved. Like, seriously, get involved in your school. Get joined in some clubs. Because that's not only going to help you like build connections, network with people, things like that. It's really going to help you figure out your career. So for me, for example, I went into school as a psychology pre-med major. And I joined um, a lot of journalism clubs and everything. Because as you all know, I'm really into media, writing and things like that. It's like for me doing YouTube and everything, I just really wanted to join clubs in the communications department journalism department because i wanted to be able to like learn some more things for youtube and everything like that so i was joining a lot of clubs over there and i just realized that like i really really enjoyed doing that so it made me switch my major to regular psychology and add journalism as my minor and when i tell y'all i couldn't have been more happier like when you join clubs and everything especially like clubs that um, teach you skills and everything and help you you know things like that it really helps you find yourself so you don't want to just be that person that just goes to school and go to class you want to make sure you're joining these clubs and that's not to say join a whole whole bunch of clubs like every club you see but definitely get active in your school and I recommend joining clubs that um, will be beneficial to you in the future so like for me for example when I was in high school I was in SGA um, I was in a whole bunch of clubs like that. I was in a lot of stuff, but I knew going into going into college, I was not going to be in SGA because me personally, I don't see the reason for me being in that if I do not want to go in, if I don't have a if I don't want to do anything political, I'm not going to join a club involving that. Now, of course it's cool to have leadership in your campus, but for me personally, my personal opinion so others might feel different i don't see the point of me joining unless i'm really really trying to advocate for my school make some changes do things like that i'd rather spend my time doing clubs like that like you could still build those leadership positions in the clubs that you join so let's say if i join psychology club if i really wanted to like just do some leadership stuff i could work towards becoming the like the president of the psychology club. I hope you all are understanding and I hope that I'm saying this correctly. And I know other people might feel differently and have their own opinions toward it, but for me personally, um I just don't I just wouldn't join a club that doesn't have anything to do with my my future, my goals or anything like that. So I say just spend your time on clubs and on things that will actually make sense on your resume so if you want to be um a lawyer i don't think jobs and stuff will care that you were on the chemistry club if that makes sense i hope that makes sense um if i'm a writer i don't think that they will care that i was um, on the dance team. I don't know like I don't know. I hope that makes sense. my next tip is to stay on your advisors And your teachers and just stay on those people look at it like this and I bet you all will make sure you stay on them You pay so many thousands of dollars To be at that school 
So every question you have, if you want to ask the person the same question over and over, I know like don't be obnoxious with it, but you paying for that like school is no longer free for you i don't know if you went to a public school or a private school in high school or whatever but when you're in college and you're paying these thousands of dollars to talk to it for these people like just treat everybody like you're the boss like what you mean nobody in financial aid office i paid this 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 amount of dollars somebody better be at work today why ain't nobody at work today why why can't nobody answer the phone your teachers don't want to answer your questions you can ask them every question you want to ask them because you're paying them you pay how many thousand dollars three thousand dollars per class hello i'm gonna have a question you ask these people as many questions as you need to because you paid them you paid them to sit there. That all that time they're sitting in their office hours and nobody's coming, like y'all don't wanna go to office hours and everything like that, they getting paid still. They do not care. They're still getting paid. So you go to those office hours, you go to those meetings, you go to their classrooms, you message them, they give you their phone numbers. Do not be scared. Call these people, ask these questions, work make sure they're working. Make sure you're getting every service that you paid for in that tuition bill. Because when they, they make sure they're quick to get your money, so make sure you're quick to get their services because all those people are there working for you. So for my eyes, we're going to go ahead and use this palette that I got off of Carmen Renee. Um, I will leave my discount code up on the screen so you all can get 10% off. This is a black owned business and I'll also leave the link to her website um, in the description box below. Do not pay a lot of money on these college tickets for these parties, y'all. Like, I swear to gosh, every party is not the hot party. Um, especially, like, during homecoming time. Or, like, during, like, your school's holiday times. Like, I know for us, we have, like, 100-day holiday times. Um, and everything like that. Y'all, please do not go to every single party. Do not skip classes for parties. Like, it's not worth it at all. Like, trust me. I know for us, like we have a, a, a school holiday, if you want to call it, and it's 100 days, so it's like 100 days before seniors graduate or whatever. And I know a lot of people skip their classes for it, but I honestly say it depends on what class it is. So if it's like a gen ed class, I, and I'm not here, I'm just here to be like 100 with you. If it's like a gen ed class that you've got like, like you could get some absences or it's not really going to affect you, then for, by all means, you know, you know what's what's good for you or not like I'm not gonna hold y'all um I was able to have six absences in my history class and I knew that day we didn't have anything like super super intense planned so I didn't go to my history class that day but if it was like but I made sure I went to my sociology class just because personally I didn't want my teacher to um she went to Hampton and she already knew it was down I just didn't want her to look at me like that and some teachers already know like my teacher she um we was in class for 10 minutes I, we got a pop quiz that was super easy and everybody who just came to class that day and took the test got an easy 100 which definitely helped so teachers kind of already know what's T um, but like let's say you got a, a math class or whatever and your teacher just is like trying to give y'all a test that day do not skip the party for it um, especially if you're not a senior like that celebration was for them not for you and you would hate to not make it to your 100 days party because you wanted to celebrate somebody else's. So I hope that makes sense. Yeah, just make sure you're being smart. Um, also try not to plan your classes around times that are like party time. So like every Friday, 12 to two, we had an activity hour. So I made sure my classes were before that. And even like you don't wanna do nothing directly after cause the parties might flow over but try not to schedule your um if you know your school has like an activity hour on a certain day that's like popping try your hardest not to schedule classes during those times because you don't want to have to skip class you know you will hate to have to skip classes for a party or miss out on parties because of class like you know just be just be smart another thing i say is just be smart as far as like relationships i don't want to get on here and sound like like a debbie downer like oh it's not gonna work this third and third but i just say be smart be open-minded um don't have super super high expectations however like 
you don't gotta be like all stuck up like you know oh, nothing's gonna work da, 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 da. like you know just have have fun and I ain't saying like you know anything but what I just said no I'm not giving you anything to interpret just remember you still have a reputation and you don't want to be that girl on campus so just be smart that's all i would have to say as far as that's concerned another really big thing that i uh, didn't really start doing until i got to school was being organized like i was not really that organized in high school i had like one folder where i kept everything like all my classwork everything was in this one folder so i knew like you know if i had the folder i was straight but if i left the folder at home you might as well have never came to school that day because everything was in it. But um, when I got to college, I had to be like really, really organized because the teachers are not going to remind you on assignments all the time. Like your teachers are not going to remind you on assignments. They're not going to remind you on tests. They're not going to remind you on half of the things that you were probably used to getting reminded on when you were in high school. So I just had to get super organized. I had to get like planners. I had this really big desk cam, um, desk calendar. So you really just have to stay organized because you're not gonna get that. Oh, your teachers are not gonna be reminding you um, on like what assignments are due and you know all that other stuff. They're not gonna be informing you on that. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Follow me on my socials. They'll be linked in the description box below. And also, don't forget to check out Carmen Renee's website. Linked in the description box below. Thank you so much, girl, for sending me the products. Love them so much. And I'll see you all in the next one.